Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. It is Monday, October 4th. I'm Sean Coffey. We'll get to our top stories in just a minute, but first we're getting a check of our forecast with meteorologist Logan Westro. Good morning, Logan. Hey, good morning, Sean. Happy Monday, everyone. A little bit more unsettled as we go into the start of the work week for today. Lots of cloud cover along with some scattered rain showers on and off as we go throughout this morning, and that pattern will continue as we go into this afternoon. Any of those showers could produce some locally heavy rainfall, even into this afternoon, perhaps a few rumbles of thunder, and then as we go into the overnight, still looking for a few showers to continue into this evening and into tonight. Still very warm and muggy as we go into the overnight as well. Warm and humid once again for today. Highs reaching right around 70. Here's a look at your seven day forecast as we go into Tuesday. A few showers from time to time. Temperatures will be into the lower 70s. And then as we go into the middle to the end of this week, those rain chances a little bit less, but each day still provides us with a chance of a shower. Otherwise, more clouds and sunshine. Sean, temperatures still into the lower 70s. All right, Logan, thank you. A man from the Lehigh Valley is behind bars, accused of murdering three people in Florida. Police say 39 year old Sean Runyon was working in the Tampa area as an electrician for the J&B Electric Company. Runyon allegedly got into a fight with his supervisor. He then returned to a place that he shared with some of his co workers. That's when he allegedly stabbed and beat multiple people inside. Three people were killed and two others were injured. A search of court records shows Runyon is from Nazareth and has an extensive criminal history, including charges of strangulation, child endangerment, and terroristic threats. One woman was taken to the hospital after shots were fired in Wilkesbury. Police responded to a report of shots fired on the 100 block of Cole Street around 6 p.m. Sunday. A silver Ford Focus was towed away from the scene. Officers tell us one woman was transported to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Police would not confirm if she suffered a gunshot wound, and the incident remains under investigation. That does it for now. More eyewitness news and weather on air and online throughout the day. But for the very latest, visit pahomepage.com.